Hey everyone, welcome back to Net Place Chrono Trigger. Uh, we last left off in the Black Omen. Uh, we're just a third of the way into it before I decided to cut it off in the last video. But we're going to continue on. Uh, this is where the door opens to the next part of the Black Omen. Uh, we're just going to keep on doing what we were doing in the last video. All these monsters are great to have Isla with because you can charm a lot of items off of them. Speed tabs, power tabs, and even some great accessories as well. And the thing is, they're usually pretty much pushovers half the time, too. Like for instance, I probably have Chrono do this, and I got a power tab from that guy. And he's probably dead after that, to be honest. Yep. And I am do I am uh, attacking... <laughs> I, I am doing the Black Omen in the present time period because I can go back to like the Middle Ages and redo the entire area again or actually stay in any area and f keep farming those like power tabs and whatnot. But the bosses will be dead if you, if you, if you do kill them in any time period. It doesn't matter which one you do it in. And I don't know how that works uh, time-wise, but that's, how, <laughs> that's all I know how it does it. I think that that shield drops a muscle ring, but and these guys are great to fight. I'm probably gonna fight them anyway because they do drop mega elixirs. And like I said in the last video, those are great to have for the final boss fight. If they don't kill themselves. And mega elixirs restore everyone's uh, HP and MP MP to full. That's why we want them. I can't remember what's in the chest in the top right. I don't, I don't think it's a weapon or anything like that. Ah, the Zodiac Cape. That's one of the... That's actually the second best equipment for the ladies. I'm gonna give it to Isla, actually. It's their equivalent of the moon armor, but only the women can equip it. And the only one that's better than that is the prism dress, but you can only get one of those per game. Uh, I'm thinking about it. You can wait till they close their eyes and keep scooching over, or you can just let them catch you and just run away. And you can't avoid this fight. Now, if you remember the last video, the guy in the middle is the one that gives the goat stud, I believe. Yeah, I already have three. I didn't really need to do that. Just wanted to find out again. And I don't think the white guy, the yellow, I don't know what's the white guy. The yellow guys, I don't think they have any even more. One of the comments I saw in the last video I thought was funny was uh, one guy said I played this game a few times and I never knew you could run away. <laughs> uh, to do that, all you gotta do is just uh, for the if 
be, I'm using the classic Wiimote right now, but to do that all you gotta do is just hold down the L and R buttons. And they start like, they just kind of stand up. Oh, it's already defeated them, but yeah. And you just gotta hold it down, and if you can't run away from the fight, it'll, it'll let you know right off the bat. It'll say you can't run away from the fight. I thought that was kind of funny. Just in case. Once again, they, they do close your eyes. Eventually. Ah, screw it. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting to fight in that one, that's funny. Ah, uh, the power seal. Now, in the last video, I mentioned the, the magic seal. The power seal. Like, let's give it to someone that is kind of weak. Here we go. Now the magic seal, it ups your magic and your magic defense. The power seal ups your power and your stamina. So that would be good to give to one of your weaker characters, but like Isla would be the best person to benefit from it because uh, power does not factor in on Marley's or Luca's uh, shots. They go by hit. And I know there's a fight here. Yeah, I thought so. I don't think you can get away from it. And it's just another guy that drops another power tab. And I actually get a lot of messages saying why I don't use a lot of dual text, so I'll start using some. I don't use it because usually people's singles attack can do just as much damage as a dual as a dual text. So that's why I don't like to use them all that much. Too, I could try to level up Isla till she hits. Um, I think it's like, what is she right now? She's 62 right now. I believe at 70, 73 ish, her. You can't equip weapon on Isla. It depends on her level. I think it's at around 70, I want to say, that her fist actually turns into like the Iron Fist or something like that. And it actually has a. It increases her attack power as well as uh, it adds uh, has a chance to confuse the enemy. And at level 99, then it's like it's something else. I can't remember what it is. I know on the DS version, she gets upgrades faster than normal. And I know there's a couple of fights here. I'm trying to avoid them. You could talk to them if you wanted to to start the fight, and it will have more chance for more tech points. I've never been able to get past this area. Yeah. These guys... <laughs> These guys suck. Because <laughs> they have an instant counter-attack that kills you. So, But they do have something good you can charm off them if I do remember right. Okay, they have a magic tab, but I... Yeah, if you're gonna kill them, make sure you kill them with one hit, because they counterattack and it, 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 it's an instant kill. Like, I got, like I'll sacrifice uh, Luca for it. And she's dead. So yeah, she... She, that's why you gotta make sure to kill these on the first hit. And just heal her up. And don't forget this chest. 
chest. Another mega elixir. Like I said, you're gonna run into that Giga Mutant a few times. Like here's one of them. And you can just charm the top and bottom. I don't, I'm not sure. Not all of them have something on them. I'm gonna go ahead and start just focusing on. Oh, let's see what this does. That's right, this one has a hit ring, the top one should have a wall ring. Yeah, I didn't think that attack would be that much. I think this one gets hurt the most by just magic, magic attacks. So it's just magic attacks, luminaire, and flare. Should be a wall ring. Yeah. The thing is, Isla does not really offer too much in this fight because all of her attacks are physical attacks. So you just kind of use her to keep everyone like stocked on magic and just keep killing them with tonics. Like I'm gonna have her throw a, a ether on a chrono. But uh, if I remember, it doesn't have. I would be surprised if Lucas kills him right now. I think Luca kills her with kills it with flare. There you go. I know I can do it. I know I have both of them, that's why. But let me see. Wall ring increases the magic defense by 10, and the hit ring increases strike by 10. That would help Luca or Marley the best. And let's heal up before I move on. Like I said, every time you see a save point, use it, because you there's battle after battle here. I still think I have three mini bosses, I want to say. I think if you were to move here, it would actually start a fight, so it's just best to stand still. Yeah, see, I can't run away now. I remember at the beginning I could. But now as you're getting like deeper into the black omen and it's not gonna let you take off. Uh, these bats, I can't, I've never been able to get past them either. And, yeah, there's some of two of those yellow things. switch out Isla for Robo right now, but I know there's still enemies that we haven't encountered yet, and I, I'm still trying to remember what all everyone drops uh, charm-wise.
And I think in here is another lava spawn. This looks really familiar. And there's just more panels. Falcon Pit is the best for these. Boss fight, if it is Lavos, actually, I think it's Gigas right now. Yeah, it's another one of the mutants. I remember this one, I think the top part actually absorbs life from the bottom one, so you just gotta really focus on the top part. And I don't know which one has which, I'm just starting by charming the top one. Let's see what hurts it more, either physical or uh, magic. Okay, yeah, we just want to attack the top part. That's the only one that Because once you kill the top part, uh, the bottom part uh, dies with it. And it's like the same as the others. You gotta use magic to kill it. Another power seal. I think this should kill it, if not one more Lucas of uh, Flare. This is not gonna. This is a chaos attack, but I have all my characters equipped with the status protecting equipment. And that bottom part should die. Yeah. A white rock. That is a. Uh, Triple attack for I think the girls. All three of them together, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's a special kind of a gimmicky triple triple tech. This is the lava spawn, if I remember. Yep. Uh, same thing goes for the like the last time you met them on Death Peak. If you attack the shell, it counterattacks with a hard hitting uh, attack. But I think you can counterattack. I mean, not, not counter, you can charm something great off the shell, but it just hurts. I'm not sure the head has anything. Focus on the. I know this is gonna hurt, but I gotta do it. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. Another full hit. But let me heal her up and try the shell one more time. If I don't kill it first. Let's do this. I know that hits everyone, so I'm gonna use a lapis. Time. 
dang it. Okay, I'm not even sure. I, I'm pretty sure he has something that's gonna... It's gonna tick me off if I don't get it. One more time. Might not even be worth it. It's just out of principle now. Okay, one more time. Come <laughs> on. If I don't get it this next time, I'm just gonna just have Chrono and Luca finish him off. Trying it, but I don't kind of think y'all don't like the viewing all that much. He could not, probably not, he doesn't even have anything. I could have sworn he did, but I, I just can't remember what it is off the top of my head. And she's probably dead. any more of the mutants or anything that I can remember. This is right before Zeal's place, and I think this is a perfect time to stop it. So, as always guys, thanks for watching, peace out, and I'll see y'all next time.